Um, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to this video. Um, so as uh, announced in the class, um, this video is basically a makeup video for one third of lecture three. Um, so I had to end early because of a commitment. Um, so I what I want to do in this part is basically derive a set of equations, um, governing equations and boundary conditions, as we discussed in the class. Um, and then solve them using Python. So this first part, which will be about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, is basically going to be um, uh, basically derivation. The next part, which will also be 10 to 15 minutes, is going to be the Python code. Okay, uh, so basically this video um, is uh, pretty uh, simple. Uh, what you have been given, and this is the problem we already started in the lecture, uh, is that you have a solution, um, so we can assume constant density. There's a liquid solution, so you can assume constant density. And pseudo binary assumptions. Um, and the system is steady and no flow. So if there is steady, there is no steady term, unsteady term. And if there is no flow, there is no velocity. Uh, and we can use the usual equations that we have derived earlier if it's constant flow and pseudo binary. Uh, and what you have been given are there are two species uh, uh, on top of the solution phase, which are A and B. Um, concentration of A is C and not at the entry, uh, and concentration of B is zero, right? Uh, at the and at the end of the cis, uh, of the surface, um, there is a surface reaction going on, uh, which is going from A to B, um, and the reaction of the order of this equation is, is n. So there is a um, like the reaction has nth order. So order can be 0, 1, 2, 1.5, 2.5, and so on. And that number is given by n here. Okay. So what we have been asked to do is, the objective is to find CA of x and CB of x for given CA naught L A K S N D A and D B. So these are the diffusivities. Okay, so K S. So this is the objective. So we have been asked to find the uh, concentration profiles given all these parameters. So whenever you have to solve an equation like this, this is clearly a transport problem because um, there is some system going on first, we will use the uh, we'll, first step is to look at the governing equations. Governing equations. Okay. So remember the governing equations are del C A by del T. Del C B dot del C A. Z for root D A del for C A plus R A. Del C B by del T. V dot del C A, D V del square C B, plus R B. And remember, we are able to write this because of constant rule and pseudo binary assumptions. Now, uh, it is pretty simple uh, that if it's steady, so you can just cancel this out. There is no velocity, so you can cancel this term out. And remember, and this is where most of the students make a mistake is that uh, there is no volumetric reaction. So RA and RB in the governing equations are volumetric reactions. Volumetric reactions. So even these go away. So it's pretty simple in one dimensional, essentially, the governing equations can become D square CA, the DX square is equal to zero, D square CB by DX square, to zero as well, okay. So, pretty simple um, is that these are the two governing equations, uh, and this is something we discussed in the class uh, for a simpler case as well. But hopefully, this was a good refresher for you. Now, let's go to the second step, which is the boundary conditions. Boundary conditions. So, there are two boundaries x is equal to zero and x is equal to L. So simply, um, we can um, say at x is equal to zero, bound value is CA, x is equal to zero is CA naught. Very simple. CB at x is equal to zero is equal to zero. 
So let's see x is equal to 0 boundary. Now um, the second boundary is x is equal to L. Uh, and so x is equal to L clearly is let's do a different color, this one here. This boundary is more complicated because there's a reaction going on. Uh, and like we have discussed, if they, and we don't know the flux value, there's a reaction going on and so on. And so then what we will do is basically we will use an interfacial balance. So interfacial balance, I recall that we can essentially write an x is equal to L surface. Uh, and Uh, so to do the interfacial balance, what basically we need to do is we need to define phase one and phase two, uh, and define the normal going from phase one to phase two. So in this case, it's simply e x. So it's in the x direction, uh, and there is no uh, and there is no essentially velocity of the interface. So remember the velocity of the interface is equal to zero. So we simply get F1 minus rather F1x because it's only the x direction F2x plus Bs is equal to zero, right? So for A, for A species, um, the flux in the first uh, phase, which is this phase, which is the liquid phase here, this phase here is simply minus dA del C, dCA by dx, which is 2D because it's only with x respect to x, dCA by dx, and x is equal to L. F2, there is no flux in the second phase. It cannot be permeated. It, there is nothing beyond the wall, right? There is nothing beyond the wall. It can be at the wall, but nothing beyond the wall. So this is equal to zero plus Bs is simply the um, surface reaction, and it says nth order reaction from A, so then you get Ca raised power of n, and L is equal to zero. Or simply put dCa by dx, and x is equal to L, becomes minus Ks by dA, Ca raised power of n. Okay, now we can do something similar for B, B we have minus db, dcb by dx. Well, again, there is nothing outside that phase, but instead of consumption, this was negative because this was consumption. Remember that bs is generation, so it is positive when it's generating, and when it's negative, you have to do a minus. And so b is actually getting generated, so it will be positive at the same rate plus k plus k s plus k s c a raised power of n l is equal to zero or other boundary condition becomes d c b by d x at x is equal to l is equal to k s by d b c a raised power of n at x is equal to l and this is also at x is equal to l okay so simply put, your two differential equations and two boundary conditions become d squared ca by dx square is equal to zero, d squared cb by dx square is equal to zero. These are our governing equations. And boundary conditions are dc by dx and x is equal to l is equal to minus ks da c raised power of n at x is equal to l um, and c a at x is equal to 0 is equal to c a naught and dcb by dx at x is equal to l is equal to ks by db and x is equal to l and cb equal to cb uh, is equal to 0 okay so we have the full solution uh, and we are able to match this. Uh, and we should be able to basically solve this. Now. So these, these are the first two steps and these are the boundary conditions. 
Okay. Now, so now that we have this, uh, one thing which is good to do while solving is non-dimensionalize. So I'll just do it a little fast and you can check this yourself is non-dimensionalize. And this is not this is not really time consuming. It'll just take you a minute to do this. Um, but I'll define theta a x by l and I'll define d a as k s c a naught. And this one where d a and times l okay uh, and finally i will define d in beta which is d b uh, which is d a by d a by d b okay so uh, you can do this a little bit um, later if you, if you need time but it, it comes out naturally once you start inputting the variables but essentially, this will allow you to write the one equations as d squared theta a by dx tilde square is equal to zero, d squared theta b by dx tilde square is equal to zero. And then the boundary condition at x is equal to zero becomes for a becomes one. Boundary condition for b becomes zero. It becomes one because we have divided by c and not. And again, the the uh, governing equations make sense. So the other boundary condition is d theta a by dx tilde at x tilde equal to one. So here, essentially, what you will get actually, I wanted to write. Apologies for this sloppy using the uh, uh, it's d small a damn polar number. So this is a damn polar number. Uh, it's d a theta a raised power of n uh, and then you get minus this d theta b by dx tilde tilde equal to 1 is equal to d a theta a raised power of n but then you will also have beta because you have divided by db instead of uh, d a. So this is essentially what you will get so please try this yourself. Try this yourself. It's a good idea to practice. In the second part of the video, we will solve these equations using Python for an arbitrary value of damn Kohler number, arbitrary value of theta, uh, 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 arbitrary value of beta uh, to get theta a and theta b. Okay. So I hope to see in that video, but hopefully this video makes sense. Uh, and this is basically essentially a continuation of what we were discussing in the lecture. And see you soon.